It is Monday morning. It is 7.39 uh, Central Time, and I'm in Connecticut getting ready to head to Pennsylvania uh, to pick up some, it looks like railroad car parts, but the... Um, if I push in the address for the work assignment, it gives me a spot on the map, and that's probably the location. But I, I ask for directions, and... Uh, and I try to f the, <laughs> the directions say on Highway 422 East, take the ramp and then turn right on. And it's like, which ramp? There's hundreds of ramps off of <laughs> Highway 422. And uh, then it gives you all these street names. And I found two of them, but none of them intersect to be able to make a left or a right hand turn. So I don't know where these directions came from. Well, they came from another driver, but I don't. Uh, maybe they changed the names of the roads since that driver provided those in, uh, directions. I don't know. And then they have a number listed on the <laughs> on the work assignment for the shipper, and it, I think uh, whoever provided that number used to work for Hollywood Productions because it's a five 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 number. So, yeah, you can't call that number to get directions either. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't come in there. I pulled into this place. And can you see my mirror behind me? I've got to back out. <laughs> I've got to back out of here. This will be the most exciting backup I have ever done. And I won't catch it on camera because my GoPro battery is dead. Sorry. It would have been a good one. Let's see. I'm picking my uh, parking for tonight. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. My buttons work. Oh wait, yep, yeah. so I had 11 hours and 31 minutes left on my total trip, so I'm going to go a couple miles down the Proceed road. Proceed to the highlighted route. About an hour and a half, that, yeah, it cuts off a little bit more time. This doesn't deliver, my load doesn't deliver until, uh, Proceed to the highlighted route. Wednesday. Uh, I might pick it, let me, uh, see this is the, the kind of thing I go through when trying to pick where do I want to stay, because I have sun in my eyes. I have two hours and 47 minutes left and I want to try to maximize my time so on Wednesday when I deliver this it has a set appointment of 8 o'clock. Wow, see how hard it is? <laughs> Proceed to the highlighted route. As you can see that is west and uh, this individual up front in front of me once he's done fueling all the fuel islands are full and they all got a truck behind them so um, I got 11 hours and 30 minutes. Wow, I didn't realize that. So let me try something else here. And uh, as I use my GPS, I guess you can look. So, pick and I try to go with travel centers just because there's more of an option than rest areas sometimes. And 87 miles got me an hour and a half down the road, so. Okay, am I pressing the button? There we go. That's where I was going to stop, but I think I can make it farther down the road. The Pilot Center, or TA. It, hmm. Let's bust out the book. Let's see, this is what I go through. Isn't it fun? Let's see. Virginia... I-81, exit 150A, 150 that's a small, <laughs> the Kangaroo Express at uh, 150A, that's not even in here, but how do I solve that? I'll click on it, and then I'll enter the, look at all, there's probably like three rest stops there, so I will punch this into my GPS, not my GPS, my uh, Google Maps on this phone and see what that parking lot looks like. So let's let's add it and see how much time it gives us to get there. Sorry for the harsh light. I'm not in charge Proceed of the sun. To the highlighted route. That's too far because I got a fuel still. So 
Proceed to the highlighted loud. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go to the Petro is my plan. And I looked that one up on... Uh, Proceed to the highlighted loud. On my Google Maps. And they have a crazy parking lot. It's big, but the way you pull in, every it's like every, they set it up to where every parking spot is a blindside backing. And it's like, hello? Who organ? I mean, that's like putting a mechanic in charge of building the golf course. You know, it just doesn't work out. So I'm assuming somebody that didn't know how truck stops work said, hey, you know, just throw parking lots, parking spaces wherever you want. And it doesn't matter because we're not the ones parking there. We're just charging them fuel and, and charging them to buy our food. So. So that'll t so I got an 11 hours and 30 minutes. This will take off an hour and a half. So I'll have what 10 hours, and I have a 10 hour day. I actually have. Proceed a to the highlighted route. I might get really close tomorrow without having to like. Proceed to the highlighted route. Get up and uh, drive for any great distance on Wednesday because my appointment is set at 8 o'clock and there's a 15 minute um, delivery window before or after. I have delivered to this place before. It's where I delivered my train parts to. And uh, you can kind of I don't have the same train parts I had before. These are long pieces of metal that I had to pull out of a very long facility to uh, I had to back out which, which I like the challenge and I enjoyed it. Um, and I didn't have to pull forward once. <laughs> I just snaked it right back out of there like uh, like I was planning. And uh, the driver in front of me is putting in def now and I've, I've got to do that. I've got to get fuel and def. And uh, as is the case, as what's been going on, I'm trying to find a good spot. Right here is where all my uh, code lights show up. And uh, I don't know what the issue is this time. They tell me it's different, but it's uh, I'm throwing codes again. And it's uh, f from what they're telling me when they call me on the phone, it's a fuel-related issue in the fuel system of the engine. So I'm not sure. Um, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. So when I get home on uh, Friday, crossing my fingers, it's Friday, not Saturday. Hey now, Billy. I will uh, turn it in, and hopefully I don't have to drive it to the Freightliner because that, you know, takes up a lot of my time, and I don't get mileage for that. But I do get paid breakdown. Well, if I get home on a Friday, I turn it in to get fixed. I don't put in for breakdown pay because I'm home for the weekend, so I don't necessarily want to drive it to the Freightliner when I'm not getting really compensation for it. But I mean, I'll do what I need to. That's it for now. I'm uh, waiting to fuel, and when I get parked for tonight at the Petro, if I do, because <laughs> if, if that doesn't work for me, I'll just keep driving down the road until I hit a, until I get to, no, I don't want to hit anything, until I get to like a, a rest area or whatnot, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Boy, this place is packed. Everybody must be trying to fuel right now. <laughs> the hardest part, I think, is going to be to get out of here, but that's easy. It is 8.21 Eastern Time, and I decided to stop at a uh, rest stop because I didn't want a chance going to Petro being full and hard to park in, so I didn't want to deal with it, and I got time, so there is a uh, camper trailer pulling a car that uh, looks like it's getting towed, so... Let me show you what I'm hauling hard to make out it's uh, these are <laughs> it's going to a, a rail car spot sorry just keep it in a oh here comes a fast truck I better get out of the way before it runs into me I don't know if you can really make that out it's really dark but I'll get another shot of it in the morning because tomorrow's just a solid driving day it's a uh, I think it's like a uh, 3 six, uh, maybe quarter inch steel that's uh, bent into a certain form 
and it's about uh, 38 feet long and it's only 26,000 pounds worth of steel so staying out of the way here never know who's coming um, so it's it, it rides really nice light loads always always do you know it's easier to slow down and whatnot because when you're when you got 50,000 pounds on your deck or close to it um, you can feel it anyway if uh, when I measured this I was like okay so I need six straps to cover its uh, if you take 40, you divide it by 8, it gives you 5, but you add 1, so you get 6 straps. So I got 6 straps over this, which also covers the uh, 26,000 pounds, but I also had to throw in some gut straps uh, over the second uh, tier of this stuff and strapped it all down, and it didn't take long at all. I didn't have to, you know, without having a tarp, things go quick. Back in the quiet zone. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn on these lights when the uh, when they dim. But that's about it for this evening. So I will get up and have a solid uh, driving day tomorrow. Of uh, about 11 hours. I've got uh, 10 hours and 30 minutes left on my. Uh, GPS, 633 miles, and uh, I'm going to get most of that done tomorrow, and maybe have like a, an hour's worth of driving on Wednesday when it's going to deliver anyway, so, so far so good, I've, uh, I, I like this load, uh, Cherokee, Alabama, I've been there one other time, and it was, uh, Picking up this load was quite the adventure because it, it took me quite some time to figure out where these people are at. Uh, I eventually got a message on the Qualcomm because I sent in a message saying I can't find this place. Uh, even with the directions that they provided because uh, I don't know where those directions came from but they weren't on any streets in that. <laughs> I'm like these 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 uh, streets that they're having me turn left and right on don't connect so I'm not sure exactly where this place was. And when you type in the address into uh, Google Maps, it shows it like at an intersection in the middle of houses. And I know that isn't the right place. So anyway, they sent me a, uh, an actual phone number and I was able to call them and they gave me uh, exactly where they were at. So that was that was easy. Uh, but I did have an adventure when trying to show up there because I got off on my exit to cross this bridge to make a turn and then be right there. Well, I get off <laughs> and I, I go over the highway and as I'm doing it, I'm like, wait a minute, why is the bridge all blocked? And it looks like it's a hundred years old and nobody's driven on it for quite some time. So I'm like, oh great. So I had to get back on the highway, going back the opposite direction and taking a different route. And it was tight. There was a tight turn I had to make. So every once in a while you face those where you're making what seems to be impossible turns and I've learned, you know, you've just got to be patient and uh, uh, allow people in their cars to um, proceed when they're able to so you can make your turns. Because if you try to just go for it and uh, make your turn, you can take out signs and street lights and all kinds of crazy stuff if you're, in, if you're uh, nervous about it. So just say to yourself, you know what, I guess I'm just going to have to sit here and, and hold up traffic a little bit because I, in order for me to make this turn, these cars have got to go and move out of the way. And uh, luckily, every ten, for the few instances where that's occurred, people have been very kind and uh, understand the way trucks work. You know, we move everything that you buy. And so they seem to be uh, accommodating to uh, making it so where you can make the turns that you need to make. So anyway, that's it for today. This is Monday. I, I'm glad I was, I had Wi-Fi, so I was able to uh, upload videos for this week. And I noticed I got a lot of email I got to answer. So until tomorrow, a nice bright day going through Appalachia. I'm in, uh, 
I'm in Virginia right now. Uh, and I will be traveling through, let's see, I'll show you my route really quick because it has that function. So you can see I'm in, uh, in Virginia. I'm going to travel uh, through a large portion into Tennessee and then down into Alabama. So it's a pretty much straight shot, but uh, yeah, lots of miles. This is, a, uh, you know, it's great to get a, a thousand mile load right on, on Monday. Can't beat that.